What's up, everybody? My name is Lehu, and welcome to the Super Hina channel. I am a whole a variety content creator, host podcasts across worlds, and I stream on twitch.tv slash Lehu Super Hina. Today, we are reacting to the Jin Black Company, and if you like anime reactions, don't forget to subscribe, ring the bell so you can be notified on the next upload. And if you would like to support the channel, we got Patreon and channel membership. Link to those are below. We are reacting to Dungeon Black Company episode 5. The last episode, both our protagonist and Rim, the monster that got a lowly humanoid form and such, they went through a portal. They activated some type of artifact and a portal just opened up underneath them. They just dropped down. We don't know where this portal is going to lead them to, but we're going to find out. Okay, he's back home in his undies. <laughs> For someone who doesn't like to work hard, he has a pretty good physique. It was all a dream true. Oh, oh. It'd be funny if Rim is like right there, like she walks through the door. <gasps> she's not walking through the door, but she's going through the city. <laughs> Huh? But how do they know that he's related to the monster? Is... Is Rim saying his name? This is a dream. <laughs> she was still eating him. Messiah. Wait, wasn't that chick like a demon like figure like that boss lady from that company? Look at them horns. Didn't she only lines? <laughs> there is a manual for this. Go with a begging look. But she's not human! What is this charade? <laughs> Rim is like... Boxing, she's a gritty. <laughs> oh. 
Oh, his eyes look crazy. Look at that. Why is this town called Marsha? Okay, 300 years ago, certain corporation brought the world to the brink of collapse. Oh, sounds very familiar. Like the company that Kinji works in. Sounds like they need his help with finances, like how a realist hero rebuilt the kingdom. I think he's in the same world. Because the whole corporation and corporate grants sounds exactly what he was working in. It seems like that place was rewriting history. Oh! I bet if they say they'll work for him, he'll be like, sure, I'll help you then. Where did they get that gun? You know, for some reason, because, you know, it's fantasy, I didn't think they had guns. The road to Japan would be open. I think that's a lie. Ruben's eating the gun! <laughs> Ugh. Despicable looking short man. He's giving short men a bad name. Ooh, look at that equipment. They look like space cadets. Magical girl! <laughs> How did he know? How did he know?
Keep your urges under control. But how do you know? I'm not gonna judge you for your hobbies. <gasps> Play sexy. Wait another 10 years? That was pretty smooth of him. All right, I like Ranga. This is, whoa, they are in, a, in the same world, but in the future. <laughs> Belza, that was her name. Oh, she's hungry. Have you guys noticed that uh, Ranga, that old guy, and Rim have like red in their eyes? I wonder if that indicates anything. Maybe it means it's someone who's been living underground for so long. I only see it in Rim when she's hungry. Why does that look like an ant? What if the ant queen is there? I don't think that's the demon lord's castle. Oh my gosh. He's like Shia. Operation Magical Boom. Severus? <laughs> Ant Farm! Ant Farm! I knew it. We knew this wasn't the Demon Lord's castle. No way. Is Rim there? <gasps> She's not there! Where did she go? Where did she go? Oh, there she is. Operation Magical Boom! <laughs> His pressure is intense. He recognizes him! Oh, 
Grew up as a monster. <laughs> Cute. He remembers Rim's appetite. What kind of troubles did you guys have? Was Belza the demon lord? Doesn't seem like she was a demon lord. I bet Rongo's related to Belza. Mm hmm. Passionate era. <laughs> What? 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 Eat off the ground. No, <laughs> she's like, don't mess with my food. <laughs> the way he's squatting down. But that sounds normal. What? He sounds like he's in a normal work environment. They just won't work. Does a demon lord even exist? Welcome into a prayer. He's suspicious of this too. Maximum, yes! Oh, he took over! <laughs> He's restarting the Dungeon Black Company.
Huh, so they made it more competitive. That was a good uh diary entry. <laughs> General Ninomia. And that was my reaction to Dungeon Black Company episode five. I love this episode. I don't say that often, but I loved it. I, I was a little turned off that he got someone to another place, but it turned out to be just another time. I'm thinking Ranga just messed up the summoning. And I love how he went from, okay, I'll help you guys, to I rule you guys now. Oh, that was hilarious. <laughs> oh, this is what makes me like anti heroes and whatnot. What did you guys think about this episode and what did you think about this video? Let me know in the comments below. And if you want to talk outside of YouTube, there's a Discord. Link is in the description. I also stream on twitch.tv slash I host Superfina. People who watch these videos like to stop by the stream. Outside of YouTube and Twitch, I host podcasts across worlds where we talk about anime, manga, and other things you're interested in. If you like podcasts like that, link to the podcast is in the description. I'm available on all platforms. Other than that, my name is Lehua and this is the Superfina channel reacting to Dungeon Black Company, episode 5. Hope you guys like this video and I'll see you on the next one. Waiters. Huge thanks to my Patreons and channel members for making this video possible. If you also want to be part of the Superfina party, you can click over here or become a channel member. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss the next video. And I do stream live on Twitch every Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. Hope to see you guys there and I will see you on the next video. This bump.